Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for April 21st, 2021. Well, yesterday, those warnings that I've been issuing um, kind of played out as we pulled back yesterday. We found some sellers that really pushed the markets lower. And like I have been suggesting, the danger of this market is not so much that we'll break some technicals or even break trend, that the point moves could be substantial. And I'm guessing that there was some painfulness in portfolios yesterday, particularly in those who uh, continued to rush or chase into um, this very, very steep rally that we have been into. So this morning we have a whole new set of circumstances. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we grab ourselves something to drink, settle into our office chairs, buckle up, and let's get ready for the hump day edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So good morning once again, everyone. Um, let's take a look at these charts and see if we can take a look at the technicals, the price action of the charts, see if we can gain a little bit of information on how we might want to approach the market for today. So first off, let's take a look at the Dow. Now we've been talking about how the Dow is in a very extremely bullish position and it continues to remain in that position. We had a pretty substantial sell off yesterday point wise. And when we look at the chart itself, it looks very benign, it, it, it almost as if no big deal. Um, and honestly, technically speaking, it really was no big deal, but it was probably a little bit painful for a lot of those um, that had kind of overtraded um, their hand here um, as the market continued to extend. So what have we got? Well, we came in here and we tested a little bit of price support. We bounced. We actually went just a little bit lower, not quite reaching this level of price support, but we bounced up off of there by the end of the day. Now the question remains, will that be the end of it? Will we hold right in here and kind of hold on this trend? Or will these earnings, uh, will they inspire the bulls or will the earnings inspire the bears to continue to press? Let's keep a close eye on that. We're right at that point where we could catch a nice little bounce, a nice little relief rally in the market. So watch that carefully. And then let's take a look um, at our SPY. Now, SPY as I said, was probably the most vulnerable for a substantial pullback yesterday. Um, and that's just because there's really not much price support in this chart. We do have a little teeny tiny little price level right through there that we tried to hold on to yesterday. And we're going to have to watch that closely this morning because let's notice if we cannot hold here that potential, we could have an even bigger price move to come down trying to find that next level of price support in the chart. So watch that closely if we don't hold here. Now, overall, our trend, depending on how you draw this, and I'm, I'm ignoring the wick or the tails in these, uh, trades just notice that we are a long ways away from trend so it would not be an unreasonable thought to think that we could continue this pullback in the spy so keep that in mind and also keep in mind that we are very elevated from our moving averages so it really is not a big stretch to consider the fact that we may not be done with this and it, it may be done for today you know for example we might get a little bit of a relief rally we might find enough inspiration in earnings but just kind of keep in mind that we may not be quite finished up with this resting pullback um, in these charts trying to seek out some new levels of support in the spy. Let's take a look at the Qs. Now QQQ gave up um, kind of a, as far as technical damage goes, the most technical damage was done in um, the QQQ yesterday. And that is because we failed to hold um, this price support in that chart. We broke down through there. Now the question is going to be, can we recover? And with the Netflix earnings last night, disappointing investors so badly, um, it may be a little bit of a struggle to see that occur. Let's watch this closely. If we can pop right back above that and hold, we could be in great shape. 
But if we continue to slide on down, seeking the next level of price support in the chart, you could see we could easily slide down into this area. And by the way, that alone would not even contact the trend if we slid down in there. We may have to slide down into this area and rest down into this area to actually contact our trend. So watch that carefully and closely. And of course, if that level does not hold, just know that we have um, even a bigger you know, decline that could occur in the NASDAQ. So we're going to have to watch this pretty closely. Hopefully those bulls will come back in and um, garner some support. But unfortunately, we had two tech events yesterday. We had Apple um, revealing, uh, you know, new product releases and things and all, of, you know, just updates to products, um, essentially. And you can see we didn't exactly inspire um, Apple here. So if Apple were to slip as well, that could be a problem for the market. And then, of course, Netflix. Um, Netflix um, is indicated substantially lower this morning. Um, that's going to be kind of a painful thing for the market to try and have to overcome um this morning in the nasdaq um, index so watch for that carefully let's take a look at iwm now iwm um continues to suffer just a little bit here we talked about that just a little bit yesterday how we do technically have a bit of a downtrend going on here in um iwm and it made that problem worse yesterday by breaking down below that little price support in the chart. Now, keep in mind, we have some other price support that's relatively close, so we could find some support in that area pretty easily. And remember, we've got a oil number today. We've got oil, petroleum numbers today that could maybe help if they could help stabilize that energy sector um, in trying to lift back up. So watch that closely. We've got a little bit of a con concern here this morning um, as we um, really are officially in a downtrend, breaking this last price support level in the chart. So keep a close eye on IWM. Now, when I say that, we're going to have to keep a pretty close eye on the energy sector as well. Notice that the energy sector also uh, technically entered a, a downtrend um, with consecutive lower lows, but we finally broke this support um, in that chart. So we've made a new low here in XLE. So let's keep an eye on that. If we can't garner some um, good information out of the petroleum numbers today, that could be a little bit of problem for energy. And then if we take a look at the financials, you know, you would you would think with the blowout earnings these financials are creating, we would be seeing more energy flowing into these financials, but we're just not. And yesterday, you can see we kind of pushed down and um, broke down from these highs back here in March. And if we can't recover from that pretty quickly, we could run into a little bit of trouble. Notice that we had a trend right here that we have now failed. So as we push back up, we've got a little bit of a double whammy of price resistance in there. We're going to have to watch on those financials. If they can't gain a little support, Energies and financials are going to, if they struggle here, it's going to continue to show pressure on um, the Russell average. So watch that closely. Then let's take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX surged up yesterday, but the good news is, is we did not breach this um, resistance level in the chart. So that is good news. We we saw that fear coming in as we sold off, but we didn't really break above that resistance level. So now we have that possibility. We have that possibility that we could utilize that resistance right there for a failure point. If we can see that fear drop back out, if we can get those bulls engaged and see that fear drop back out, then we could follow this downtrend here in the VIX. However, if those bears find something to be um, energized on today and we pop above that area, we're gonna have to watch that pretty closely because if we pop up, break that downtrend and break that resistance in the chart, 
It's only going to matter if we hold it as support, but that's what we'll have to keep an eye on if we happen to break through that area. So just keep a close eye on that, be a little bit careful. Let's take a look at our T21. 22. Now the T2122 indicator, the four week new high, new low ratio, made a nice pullback yesterday. We've been in a very overextended condition and we've been talking about that quite a bit. And notice that we fell back below here about 50% of that move, meaning about half of the stocks um, are in decline and half of them are continuing to show bullishness. So keep an eye on this, or, or uh, I shouldn't say, shouldn't say it that way. The four week new high, new low ratio. So we've got uh, more than 50% of the stocks hitting some new lows, 50% of the stocks still trying to hold up in those new highs. Now let's take a look at this and this doesn't give us a direction for today and it doesn't, it certainly doesn't indicate that we are oversold yet. So that is the concern right now for today. Will those um, bulls find enough energy to fight back in here and push us back up or because we haven't reached an oversold condition, if those bears find a reason to be emboldened, there may be that opportunity that we could continue this selling to the downside. So watch that closely. Um, not sure which way we're going to go and our futures right now are just kind of flat. They're not giving us a whole lot. We've bounced off of overnight lows, but they're not giving us a whole lot to um, get too excited about here this morning. Let's take a look at our T2101. Now I got to tell you guys, this one, this continues to be um, a major concern. And I've been bringing this up over and over and over. Um, that our market breadth continues to, to decline. We're just not getting that energy coming into the market that you would expect um, around earnings season. So watch this carefully and closely. What we don't want to see is if that selling wave picks up, we don't want to see an increase in this uh, breadth if sellers are pushing that breadth move higher. So watch that closely. Then let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar does have a single thing that we might want, well, maybe two things that we wanna pay attention to here today. First off, we're going to get um, our petroleum status numbers this morning. We'll want to keep a close eye on that, on those petroleum status numbers. Um, if they happen to show a surprise decline, that could certainly help um, um, boost um, those um, energy prices. However, there is the concern with rising COVID numbers around the country that demand may start to suffer here a little bit. So if that happens to come in stronger than expected, um, that could be a little bit of a problem for those oil sector stocks. So keep an eye on that. And then of course, right now, as we continue to just float around here, worrying a little bit about inflation, we'll want to keep an eye on that 20 year bond auction at 1 PM Eastern today. Let's take a peek at our earnings calendar. Now we've got a busy day on the earnings calendar today as we continue to ramp up. 66 companies on the list today. Uh, there are a number of those that are unconfirmed reports, so not all of these will be um, likely reporting. But let's take a look at some of those notables today that we might want to pay attention to. Take a look at Chipotle. Chipotle Mexican Grill will be reporting today. We'll want to keep an eye on that. Notice they've been pressing up here, pushing um, highs in the chart. We've just been pressing and pressing, pressing up here, trying to break through and haven't quite been able to do that. So those earnings could be that inspiration to maybe get that done. Let's take a look at um, BKR. Oops, BKR. BKR will be reporting today. This has been uh, broke this downtrend, been rallying up here, trying to hold some price support. So there is some upside opportunity in here. Whoops, this is the wrong stock, BKR, BKR, there we go. Um, sorry, sorry, sorry about that. So um, big old downtrend going on here, breaking some price 
um, support in that chart. So we'll want to keep a close eye on that since this reports today. Um, by the way, I can't cover all of the stocks th uh, this morning that are in the notable list. So if you want to catch the full notable list, you might want to jump over to the blog. Just click that link right below the title of the video. That'll take you over to the morning blog so you can catch that full list. Halliburton will be reporting today. It looks like a little bit of a pop and drop here in the pre-market um, running into that downtrend. So watch that carefully on Halliburton. Um, GL Globe Life will be reporting today. Let's keep an eye on that. We have Kinder Morgan reporting today. You guys know I've been watching this stock for a potential trade um, in this nice little tight consolidation but nothing's happening yet here in that chart um, LRCX LRCX also reporting today we have NEE some utilities reporting this morning it looks like that is disappointed here um, looking for a little bit of a pullback here and we are going to get numbers from Verizon today. Looks like they are pulling back as well. So guys, if you want to catch that full list, make sure you go on back to the blog and catch that full list of stocks uh, back there. Let's um, take a look at some stocks that are setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click on that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you find these videos to be worthy, to be helpful and help you planning your day, if you could please do me a favor, click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. Um, that continues to help us grow and I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. And thank you to every single one of you that are taking um, or supporting the channel through the Buy Me a Coffee link that's below the title of the video. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. I truly, truly appreciate the support and the kind words that I receive uh, for the effort of, of getting these videos out every day. Thank you so much. Let's take a look at some of these stocks. And remember, guys, as we look at some of these stocks, they are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. They are... Um, something that you might want to put on a watch list, do your own evaluation, and make sure you're never blindly following anyone's trade. One of the places that I think we need to look right now in stocks is we need to look at um, consumer staple stocks. Take a look at XLP yesterday. Now, I have a bias here. Um, right Way Options members are in XLP, and it is showing quite a little bit of strength here. Um, yesterday just surged up those consumer staples looking very very strong and continuing to push higher we might want to take a look at some of those consumer staples one of the things that's really great about the TC2000 system is I can just click one icon and I can go to a lot of those consumer staple stocks uh, pull up that full list that makes up the XLP so let's take a look coca-cola looking very strong here pushing up now albeit it has some resistance here that it's going to have to deal with but keep an eye on this coca-cola has been showing lots of strength to the upside and if we can break through that resistance up there could be some upside opportunity. Take a look at Kroger. Now, you guys know I mentioned Kroger the other day. I actually own Kroger, so I have a little bit of bias here. But Kroger's continuing to look bullish. It tried to pop nicely yesterday, ended up pulling back with the pressure in the market. But I think we're still setting up really nice here. And I got to tell you, grocery store food related stocks seem to be doing very, very well. So keep a close eye on that. You might want to check out MDLZ. MDL. Z had a nice move yesterday, um, nice bullish move, breaking back through this resistance. So let's keep an eye on that. If that can follow through up here or hold up in this area, MDLZ might be one to pay attention to. I think we should keep a little eye on Clorox. Now Clorox disappointed me. I had an alert in this area. I was hoping that would hold onto this trend and move on higher, but it failed, broke support. So now look what we've done. Yesterday we surged big time in Clorox, pushed back up. So we're back above this price support. If we can hold in here and prove any kind of support, I may be interested in an upside potential trade here in Clorox. Keep 
super close eye on that chart. Lots of things moving in that sector that are looking pretty good. As you guys know, I have mentioned TAP several times. We were talking about it back here for that potential of breaking through that resistance, and it certainly did, held that level. And now we've broken through another little level, and we're trying to hold that area as support. If we contact this trend, if we rest out here toward that trend, watch for that opportunity that TAP may start to gain a little bit of ground, continuing to move higher. So lots of stocks in this sector to be considering, things that you might want to take a close look at. Another sector that's looking pretty good, you might want to take a look at um, the healthcare sector has been really, really strong here in the healthcare sector. And once again, click one icon and we can start jumping into these stocks that are moving um, this index so nicely. Take a look at UNH extremely strong. I wouldn't want to chase this, wait for the next rest or pullback, but we can find lots and lots of potential trades here in that sector that are very, very strong overall. A couple others I want to mention, um, you might want to keep an eye on emerging markets. Um, I've taken this entire um, resistance area here, turned that into an alert. And I'm watching this little emerging market um, chart here to see if um, this can break through. Now, you can see in yesterday's selling, we pulled back some pressure, some pain here, and it's possible the rising COVID numbers around the world could affect that um, um, lower. But I want to keep an eye on that. If that happens to gain a little bit of energy in here, pops through that resistance and holds a support, there could be some nice upside opportunity in that chart. Let's keep a close eye on um, XLC, the communications area, communication services, holding up really well in a big upside trend. Notice that we're resting in here. And I'm watching for this to hold this price support area in here and gain a little bit of ground um, if it if it can we can just continue to extend this trend to the upside so there's a few charts for you to look at a few things that you might want to consider there are lots of potential charts out there in both buying and selling modes but I got to tell you I got to stick with the bullish side of the market because overall trends are still heading up. So I'm staying with the upside trend in the market, at least for now. Everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I wish you great profits in your trading. And we'll see you all right back here bright and early Thursday morning. Wish you all the best.